Dougie, so many people are wondering about your contract status. How, how do you how do you feel like this is going to play out for you? Do you anticipate re-signing with the Hurricanes, or do you think you'll uh, go into free agency? Uh, to be honest, I don't really have any idea right now. So, uh, like I talked to you guys before, um, I really wanted to focus on hockey, and um, we kind of didn't talk about contract. Uh, I mean, I didn't wasn't involved really at all. I let my agent, whatever, but uh, they kind of tabled conversations till after the season and I'm sure they'll start talking again soon. So, um, but like I said, I, I was very focused on hockey and um, trying to win. Um, I'm sure now I'll start thinking about more stuff. And um, I think everyone knows, um, I really enjoy it here. Uh, I got some really good friends, met really, really good people um, in the room and away from the room off the ice too. Uh, so um, a lot of friends that I'll have and uh, the staff, um, everybody in the organization is great. So uh, I, I have nothing bad to say about my experience here and being a Carolina Hurricane and really enjoyed it. So um Hope, hopefully we can uh, keep going. Sarah? Hi. Andre was just kind of talking about how the season and, like, the game so quickly went after another and the restrictions and stuff was just kind of hard. In retrospect, how hard was that mentally and physically? Yeah, I think it just became uh, – I think it's such a routine. Uh, it kind of just starts to blur together. So, um like coming to the ring today, it feels like we're, we're supposed to be playing and uh, we had our kind of day off and now we're back at it. But uh, it's definitely gone by really quick, I think, because it's so routine and um, definitely a different year with uh, eating in the hotels and not being able to leave the hotels and go out and, and all that stuff. We, we spent a lot of time together and... Um, I think, to be honest with me, it was missed some of that stuff, but it was also enjoyable to to be around the guys a lot and um, had had a really really fun year with with the guys. So um, it's definitely weird that we're we're, we're done playing and uh, hasn't really sunk in yet for sure. Corey, Dougie, regardless of how the contract stuff shakes out, how do you feel like you've grown as a player over the last three seasons? Uh, yeah, I haven't really thought about that too much. It's hard to think about, uh, that much, that long time and stuff, but, uh, thinking about it now, um, I wanted to kind of establish myself as, uh, all around defenseman. And, um, last year I got the opportunity to play power play first power play and, um, kind of get that opportunity and, um happy with how I've done with uh, playing in that role and um, the last two years, I guess. So um, I, I think happy with how I've developed and improved and stuff and um, breaking my leg last year and coming back this year. And um, it's definitely not easy and um, hard to kind of go through that and, and, get back to playing and being yourself and stuff. So I'm definitely proud of myself for, for uh, going through that and coming back. And, um, but I think I'm hungry to uh, become a better player and uh, I think I can do that. So I'm ready to, to keep working and improving and, and hopefully I can, can get better than I am. JB. Dougie, thanks for taking out the time. Um, Assuming that you will be back, let's just, just you know speak hypothetically. What else does this organization need? What other pieces do do, do the Carolina Hurricanes need to, to get to that next step, to get to the ultimate step of, of winning a, a, a Stanley Cup championship? You guys are already contenders, but what is it going to take to get the actual trophy? Uh, I mean, it's hard hard to say. I think. Uh... We're definitely close. I think it's uh, 
we had a great season. Uh, we lost a team that's 18 million over the cap or whatever they are and um, unbelievable goalie and, and all that stuff. I thought we, we played them pretty close. A couple of those games could have went either way and uh, especially the early games where it changes the feel of the series and stuff. So um, it's hard to say too, like we only played whatever it was, eight teams all year. Uh, you don't really know how our division compares to the other divisions and uh, we don't know if we're playing the best team or not. So uh, I guess we'll, we'll see how that works out. But I think our teams, we got a, a great team, great people, and uh, we're led by by Rod, who has created an unbelievable culture here in, in Carolina. And um, I think that's probably the biggest thing. So uh, hopefully we can get better, like you said, and um, see if we can take that next step. Mike Slartek. Good morning, Dougie. As you, as you now mentioned, you're at the rink and it feels weird that you're not putting the putting the gear on to go play. Can you take a, a second or have you taken a second to think back about this season? Because it began in the throes of a pandemic with all the protocols. And you mentioned, you know, being locked away in the hotel and that sort of thing. And to be where you guys are, just the overall journey of this season and how, how I guess, remarkable or crazy or just how would you best describe what uh, the season was in terms of all of those things? Yeah, probably uh, crazy. I think, like you said, it's hard to uh, you get kind of caught up and it's hard to think back on all that stuff. But if you think back to all the, the protocols and uh, testing and all that stuff we had to do with start of the season, no fans and um getting some fans. I, I feel like that first game we got fans, I, I think it was like 2000 fans and it felt like we were going out for the a playoff game with how loud it was. And uh, I couldn't even imagine at that point what a full stadium would feel like. And um, to get to the point where we're playing in playoffs with a sold out rink with all the fans, it's, it's crazy to think back to how it was. So uh, like you said, it's been a, a very busy uh, journey in a way, and uh, it was been fun. We had a great group, like I said, the staff on the road, uh, players, everybody. It made it so fun to to keep coming to the rink every day, and especially when you're when you're playing well and winning. And uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. Corey, oh, sorry, go ahead, Mike. I, I was just gonna just gonna follow up with you know if you could if you could put that in, in this season with the protocols and everything you talked about, and then that compressed schedule, uh, most memorable season that you've had, or is it just one that you're simply never going to forget no matter what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's different memories. I think, uh, I think in past seasons, you have memories from different things away from the rink as well. And this one kind of was pretty much purely hockey. So, uh, it's definitely different. I think it'll be uh, maybe something we'll look back on in a, in a couple of years and realize what we went through, but I feel like it almost feels normal now. So uh, it'll be different uh, as we go. Corey? Dougie, I know you can only play the players they put across from you, but is was there some disappointment in the way you, you mentioned the 18 million over the cap? Was there some disappointment in the way that that all shook out and the way you think things should be versus the way they are? Uh, I wouldn't say disappointment. I think it is what it is. I think uh, you don't re don't even really think about that stuff, to be honest. So uh, you're playing against who you're out there playing and um, teams have injuries, teams have full lineups, whatever. It's just how it works out. So um, I wasn't knocking the the rules or anything. It's just you realize how, how many weapons they have. And uh, if you think about how many more players you could add with them, that money and stuff like that it, to your team, you realize how, how much deeper you'd be and stuff. So um, that's just how it worked out. And um, I know it's happened with teams in the past and stuff like that. And uh, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I, I just, you realize how good that team was. Last one, Josh. 
Hey, Dougie, thanks for talking to us. Um, my question was a lot like the one that was just asked by Corey, but I, I just want to ask it, I guess, maybe a little bit different. Uh, is it the seller cap issue and it being frozen, them being so far over that they are? Is it a conversation that has been had among players that, you know, maybe, you know, this team wouldn't be that good in, in a normal year because it, even the smallest change to their roster might change everything? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, though. So uh, you can say that about every team with injuries and stuff like that. I mean, they didn't have one of their or their best player or whatever all season and still had a great year. So and still beat us in games and, and all that stuff. So um, and adding a guy who hasn't played in a year is have him come back and be effective and really good right away is impressive as well. So um, I don't I don't have any knocks on that or or on them as a team or what they're doing. I think it's just impressive to see how good they are and uh, how much talent they have and um, just have respect for all those guys. So um, we'll see what happens if they they can keep winning and uh, we'll see see how we did against uh, one of the best teams in the league. So yeah.